and welcome to this video. My name is Jessica Nkwaga. And in this video, we'll be discussing the history of English through four historical periods. So let's get started. As you know, English developed over time. We're going to be discussing the history of English through four historical periods, including Old English, Middle English, Early Modern English, and Late Modern English. So let's look a little more closely at Old English. Did you know that the Old English alphabet didn't have the letters J, K, V, or W? Have a look at this example of Old English. Do you see a J, K, V, or W? So let's step into the year 450, into a part of the world known as modern-day Germany, especially northern Germany. There's a Germanic tribe called the Angles, and they speak Englisk. And the Angles invade what is modern-day England. And there are two other Germanic tribes, the Saxons and the Jutes, who also invade England. You can see from the map the flow of these tribes from the areas of Germany and Denmark into England. As these tribes enter England, the Celtic people of England are pushed further back into Wales, Scotland, and Ireland, and the language of the Angles, Englisk, changes and morphs into Old English. Time moves on and English evolves. Step into the year 700, or around the 700s. The Vikings, or Norsemen, from Denmark, Norway, and Sweden invade England. The Viking language is Old Norse, which is similar to modern-day Icelandic and Old Norse words like skin, sister, husband, and wing enter Old English, and Old English evolves some more. So here's an interesting fact. Did you know that the poem Beowulf was written in Old English around the year 1000? Have a look at this prologue from the poem Beowulf. <laughs> So it's time for a comprehension check. Which language did the Angles speak that eventually morphed into Old English? Great work. It's Englisk. And one more question. Which three Germanic tribes invaded England around 450, ushering in the development of Old English? Nicely done. The Angles, the Saxons, and the Jutes. Let's move on to the period of Middle English, which lasted from approximately 1100 to 1500. Step into the year 1066. The Normans of France invade England, and the French language becomes the language of the courts, the ruling class and the business class, while the peasant class still speaks English, and English has no official status in the country at this time. Many words from French enter Old English, and many spelling changes develop. Today, 29% of English is derived from French. For example, nouns ending in suffixes age, ance, ment, and tion are French origins. That means words like ambulance, government, question, and garage are derived from French. Eventually, there's a resurgence of English, and in the 1380s, Geoffrey Chaucer writes his famous Canterbury Tales, considered the first great work of English literature and a representation of Middle English. So here's an interesting fact. Did you know that Oxford University opened around 1100 in Oxford, England? making it the oldest university in the English-speaking world. Let's pause for a comprehension check. Yes, the Normans of France invaded England in 1066. One more question. Were you thinking about 29% of English is derived from French? Nicely done. So let's move on and talk about early modern English. 